Hi, I'm Doug Baker with Teledyne Hastings Instruments. Today we're going to talk about the HPM 2002 vacuum gauge tube line. And we're going to take it down to the sensor level and I'm going to show you how a gauge tube is put together. And then we're going to talk about the instruments that are used to power the 2002 vacuum gauge. So now let's start with the sensors. The 2002 has two micro machine sensors. The larger one is a piezo resistive sensor for measuring pressures up to 1000 torr. And the smaller one is a thermal sensor for measuring pressures down to 1 millitor and below. Now these sensors are mounted on a preform, which in turn is mounted on a gold-plated electrical feed-through header. The sensors are small, which gives them excellent response to changing pressures, but they're also very rugged. Now the header itself is then resistively welded into a tube shell. We can provide the tube itself with all of the major flanges and fit fittings, including VCR, KF and CONFLAT. The two sensors measure pressure in very different ways. The larger piezo-resistive sensor is measuring the force that the gas imports on the sensor's membrane. This is what's called a direct gauge. The thermal sensor, that's the smaller one shown up top here, is measuring the thermal conductivity of the gas, which is a function of the pressure. This is called an indirect gauge. One important difference is that the direct gauge piezo-resistive sensor is gas species independent. In other words, it doesn't matter if you're backfilling a system with air, nitrogen, argon, helium, whatever, the 2002 is going to give the same accurate readout. No conversion factor is necessary above 32 torr. So our next step is to take this sensor tube stub assembly and couple it to the cap assembly shown here. Now the cap assembly includes a small PC board that helps to operate the two sensors. But one of the best features of this arrangement is an EEPROM memory chip which stores the calibration information about each tube. This gives the user the benefit of accurate readings. And we're going to show how that works here in a minute. So now let's look at the operation of the 2002. When the instrument is initially powered, the microprocessor in the readout goes out and gathers the gauge tube's calibration data. Remember, it's stored on the memory chip that's in the cap assembly. So you always want to make sure that your cable is connected before you turn on the power. Now the microprocessor is always monitoring the micromachine sensors. The instrument uses the signal from the piezo-resistive sensor from atmospheric pressure down to 32 torr. Below 8 torr, the output from the thermal sensor is used. And in between 8 and 32 torr, the microprocessor calculates a weighted average between the two sensors to give a smooth transition between the two sensors. Now the user never sees the crossover. One other cool feature about the 2002 is that the microprocessor uses the output from the lower pressure thermal sensor to automatically update the zero of the piezo resistive sensor. This gives the user the added benefit of improved accuracy, especially when venting the vacuum system. Now let's see the HPM 2002 in action. I've got a gauge tube hooked up to the system over here and I'm going to begin to rough it out so you'll hear the pump start to kick in here. And remember the microprocessor is looking at only the piezo resistive sensor above 32 torr. So you see we're approaching 50 torr here and we're going to get into the 32 torr region, the crossover region. And again the microprocessor is always looking at both sensors. So now we're into the crossover region. down to 10 torr and you just see that the uh, set point light just went out and we passed 8 torr. Now we're looking at only the thin film Pirani sensor. So now we're below 3 torr and I'm going to go ahead and throw the main gate valve and you'll see that the HPM 2002 responds very quickly to the changing pressure. I want to thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions about the HPM 2002 or any of our other vacuum gauges or our gas mass flow controllers, mass flow meters, feel free to contact us at Teledyne Hastings Instruments. Thanks again.